My name's Leo Rofe, and I'm on the product team here at HeyGen. And I have been here, I started in early October, so it's been about eight months, and I've had one main focus, and that is our AI studio. Awesome. And Adam? Uh, Adam Halper, um, core product manager on the A-Roll side. I joined uh, in August, so about 10 months ago, and as uh, Leo focused on the B-Roll, I'm focused on the A-Roll, so that's the avatar and the voice quality. Um, so we are about to launch an entirely new way to create videos in HeyGen, and also introduce first of its kind capabilities to the platform as well. So Leo, why don't you tell me about AI Studio? AI Studio, so, I mean, we're talking about making video creation as easy as possible. AI Studio is that foundational tool that brings your video together. It's where you do all your video editing. It's where you um, are able to add in any of the fancy animation, scene transitions, captions, all the things that kind of pull a video together is done within our AI Studio. That's awesome. And what was the main goal behind the massive editor update? So we did a lot of customer research, spoke to hundreds of different customers, and I think the overwhelming feedback was that our old editor was just overly complex, too complicated to use, too much of a just barrier of entry for, for non-video creators. And so um, we decided the best way to, to tackle this problem is to, to rebuild. And we uh, um, came up with a, a new, way more intuitive, easy to use tool that makes video creation accessible to all. Um, and yeah, excited about where we're about to take this thing. For sure, and how do you see it changing the day-to-day -day for users? So, when we <laughs> did a lot of usability studies and watched a lot of users using our old tool, and um, we just saw a lot of frustration and why isn't this working the way I expect it's to work? How do I do X, Y, and Z? And so, the hope and the, the goal here is that uh, a lot of that frustration goes away and we built a way simpler, just more intuitive product that, uh, that anyone can, can pick up and, and build very polished, high quality videos on. Very early on when we were devising this new AI studio, um, I think there was, there was a lot of debate around whether we support old timeline editor type um, experience or just go all in on, on script base. And I, I think uh, in the end, we decided that trying to do both really well, you'll end up doing neither very well. And so we believed in this script based philosophy and, and truly believed that that's the best way to make video creation as easy as possible, especially with where AI is, is headed. And so it was a tough decision and Definitely a lot of long debates, but I, I, I am proud and think we, we made the right decision in the end. And how will it change the day-to-day -day for our users? Hopefully make it a lot easier and more intuitive. Um, we saw in a lot of user research and in a lot of usability studies that our old editor was just overly complex and, and not able to do a lot of the things that you'd expect it to do. And so um, hopefully this cuts time, cuts costs in, in our users' video creation. All right, Adam, your turn. Can you tell me more about the controllability features? Uh, yeah, so on HeyGen, there are really two ways to control your avatar. One is you can direct it. The other is you can act it yourself. Um, you know, really, we've tried to create two simple intuitive forms that you know, mirror traditional filmmaking, whether you're the director and you can tell the actor exactly how you want them to speak it or move, or you're the actor themselves and you speak it exactly how you want, and then the avatar will mirror your words word for word, but in their voice. Um, so with HeyGen, we always want to be very, the simplest way to create videos, which means all you ever need to do is enter your script, choose your avatar, and you're going to get a really good high quality output. But with these additional levels of controllability, you can get exactly what you want if you do want to make any you know, final refinements. I guess there's not one single debate that comes to mind, but I think there's so many debates that relate to what Leo said earlier of balancing power and simplicity, like how much do we expose to the user um, versus do we just really keep it simple and you know, provide great output off the bat. All right, so what's the overarching vision for voice control and how do these specific features bring us closer to that? For voice control, um, you know, voice is really critical in that it is what ultimately drives your motion. 
having a good voice is absolutely critical to our vision. And, and what a good voice looks like is it's highly expressive, it matches the script, it's controllable, and it sounds exactly like you or your avatar. Um, so we're continuing to make that voice both very realistic in that it matches your voice exactly, but also controllable and expressive um, and just giving you more control to you know, get it to be exactly how you want. All right, so without giving away all the secrets now, what's one feature or aspect of this launch that you are personally most excited about? Um, one thing I'm excited about is gesture control. Um, I think gesture control at the end of the day, really it's understanding and annotating your footage so that you can then intelligently apply that footage how you want. Um, so gesture control you know, can really be flexible and also excited about the possibility of how can we now automatically apply all these new tools. So we have your gestures, we can you know, um, control your voice with voice director. How can we do this to, to still make it as easy as enter your script, generate a video, but we're leveraging all these new capabilities so your avatar is now moving at the right moments and you know, emphasizing the right words. Um, so excited to improve the quality while keeping it as simple as enter script and generate. So as you guys have worked on this launch, what's one decision that you're the most proud of in what we've built? One, one thing I would say we're proud of is the overarching framework that we've developed for this, um, where we've abstracted out a lot of different complex technologies under these two familiar paradigms, which is directing or acting. And we see even as technology improves, that framework uh, will continue to persist because that's really the ideal way to control. Um, it's the same ways that you know, we create movies today. Um, you can either tell it what you want or if you prefer to just do it yourself, you can do it yourself. All right, what was the biggest challenge you and the team had to overcome to bring these features and products to life? So I think one of the biggest challenges is it is really difficult to build a tool as simple as possible while also balancing, making sure it has enough powerful features and can really develop videos that are high quality and, and, and feel professional. And so that balancing act of simplicity plus power user features is, is really difficult to, to crack. And um, I think in the end, we've done a, a really good job and, and we'll continue to add more powerful features over time. but. Um, really ensuring that ease of use is at the core of each of them and, and obsessing over what type of controls and customizability we give to each feature is, is a key discussion as we go into to each new initiative that we, that we try to tackle in the, in the video editor space. Sure. What about you, Adam? Um, I think what Leo said, spot on, balancing that simplicity and control. And then one piece I might just add on to that is the the non-determinism of AI, I think, is something that particularly makes some of these product launches challenging because um, you try it 10 times and you can get 10 different results. And at HeyGenia, we're really focused on giving you the best default path. So you don't need to adjust a bunch of settings. You just enter your script, you get a great result. Um, but to figure out that default path um, can be very challenging, especially when we're you know, trying to support hundreds of languages and you know, we don't even speak all those languages, so how do we know if it's good? Um, and then you change one setting, you need to reevaluate every other thing. Um, so it's, it's a fun challenge, but, uh, but yeah, I would say just the, the randomness of AI is, is tricky. For sure, and I think that's why I'm personally really excited about the controllability features that are coming 100%. in, because I think we all know that AI is kind of like pulling a slot machine, right? You don't really know what to expect, um, and you really don't have control over the output. So very, very excited about the features that are coming out. Um, okay, how do you envision this product truly making a difference for our users? So we see it every day from talking to our customers. We see new use cases coming out of offering such ease of video creation. And so we've talked to customers that their businesses could not have been, could not have existed without HeyGen. And so um, I think by simplifying and making the video creation process even easier with our new AI studio, we'll start to see new use cases, new types of companies, and that honestly brings the, the most joy and, and, and gets me excited about coming, coming into work every day. Totally. Um, yeah, I, I think by keeping it simple, um, I, I guess like there's two things I would say. One, a lot less frustration. 
um, with these tools, users are going to have to do a lot less iteration, a lot less hackiness, so they can get what they want you know, on the first try. Like I've talked with so many users who they just spent hours doing iteration after iteration to just hope that they get the output you know, on that one time, because there is that randomness. Um, so I think users will end up spending a lot less time to get to what they want. And they're also going to be able to get a lot better quality that, as Leo mentioned, can open up new use cases where traditionally um, you know, AI, you know, it's kind of struggle to be good enough for marketing videos. And with gesture control, where you can like be like, buy this now, and with voice director, where you can really emphasize words, um, you know, it does, I think, just raise the bar where we're going to start to see a lot of cool marketing use cases. All right. What's a detail in the product that most people won't notice, but you obsessed over? One thing that comes to mind is all of our default settings. We spend a lot of time trying to nail down what are the best default prompts and the default settings so that you get great output off the bat. Under the hood, that, you know, requires a ton of evaluations, you know, as just mentioned before. Um, so it's... Yeah, it's, it's one piece that we always look very closely at because we want to, again, be that platform that everyone can use um, to automatically get awesome results. It's one of my favorite things about product management in general is how creative people get with the tools that you build. You have an idea or a vision of how certain features are going to be used or how um, yeah, certain capabilities will be used. And, and users are just fascinating with how they end up hacking them, utilize them, and, and create things you could not have even imagined, and especially with a tool like HeyGen. I think that, that it, it is a creative tool at heart, and, and really seeing the different types of outputs that are going to come from, from, a new, from this new AI studio gets me very excited. Absolutely. There's nothing more gratifying than just getting to see the product being used in the wild, and then people come up with use cases that you, know, you hadn't dreamed of. I think that's also just a fun thing about AI products. Often we launch something with like, you know, an idea in mind, like for product placement, this is just to add a product. And then people come back with, you know, a million new ideas for how to leverage it. Um, so that's one. And then I, I think maybe another is something I'm excited about is like a next step is like, how can we now automatically apply all these new capabilities so we can, you know, add gestures and you know, we can direct the voice. Um, how can we apply these automatically for you so that it's still as easy as entering a script and generating, but now you have a video where your gestures are hitting at the right moment and it's emphasizing the right words, you know, 50 different ways um, that they're actually leveraging it. So, you know, we learn from users as much as um, you know, the other way around. And they drive our roadmap off to see 100%. how people hack it, use our, we'll end up being like, all right, we need to build a feature to make this a lot easier rather than totally. hacking the tools the way they have. 100%, like user be like, you know, basically they couldn't figure out how to do something because really it was a, an issue with the tool, but then they figured out their own workaround and we often learn that and then we build that into the product. Um, so we love learning from users. Um, and then I guess one other thing really excited about in terms of like next steps with these features is now that we've created all these awesome capabilities with gesture control and voice director, um, how can we automatically apply these? So all you still need to do is enter a script and generate, and now you have an awesome video where the gestures are all you know, hitting at the right moment and it's emphasizing the right words. Um, so essentially, how can we yeah, give you these new capabilities but still just keep it so easy as you know, script and generate? Once we launch these new features and products, what's, what are you most excited to build next? Adam just alluded to it, but um... A big focus for the, the AI Studio team to date has been building all these underlying capabilities to, to produce high quality videos. Um, the next phase of this, rather than having to manually apply them from captions to background music, animation, scene transitions, um, being able to have it magic not to overuse that word again, but magic apply to your videos. And that could be through prompt based editing if you know exactly what you want, being able to say, do you want a better visual here or you want to add some fancy animations over there? Um, or just let the system read your script, get the context, and then just magically apply it. Um, that we've already started to, to prototype and, and play around with, and that is what I'm most excited about bringing to our users. Same. I cannot wait to start using magic apply to everything. Um, what about you, Adam? Um, I, I mean, 
would say what we've been talking about of you know taking all these tools and then putting them together and automatically applying them um, so that you can you know a user can leverage voice director and gesture control and you know as we add more you know additional things and, and all the awesome things with you know animations and transitions um, like to actually use all of that manually is, is still a decent amount of work um, so yeah excited about kind of Again, combining all that power with the simplicity of enter your script and generate. All right, rapid fire round. So we're going to test your synergy here. I want you guys to say the answer at the same time. Are you guys ready? Let's we're going to do six rounds. And we're answering, or I guess. Yes, yeah. and you guys are going to answer at the same time. Got okay. it. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Early bird. Oh, OK. Uh, well, we're answering for ourselves. For yourselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dark mode or light mode? Light mode. Dark mode. Wow, you guys are <laughs> two for two. Which is opposite. also interesting because our editor is fully in light mode. It's true. That's very uh, so true. I, but I am dark I'm mode at heart. Are we planning on doing night mode for editor? It's it's in the works. Okay. Um, it, yeah, it's something we've discussed. Cool. Maybe not quite in the works, but something we've been discussing. Okay, so TBD. And TB, you. TBD. All right, pizza or tacos? Pizza. Tacos. Oh my yeah. god. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. He's wearing black, black girl, yeah. white, yeah, slash gray. We work well together, you know? You need that balance. You really do. All right. Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. Netflix. Okay. 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 There we go. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. Okay. Zero caffeine. <laughs> I do zero. So I'm that the same is way. very impressive. I'm the same way. Decaf I, tea. I do way too much caffeine. <laughs> Opposites. Great. All right. First app you opened this morning? Slack, probably. Yeah. Chess.com. Oh. Every okay. morning. I, I'm a huge chess player. And uh, yeah, I first thing when I wake up, I'll run through a couple puzzles, maybe play some online games. I had no idea. I'm going to have I had to no play idea. Yeah. <laughs> Please do. I got into it over COVID. Amazing. That's awesome. Cool. Well, thank you both so much for joining us for Inside the Build. This was really fun, and hope we have more conversations like this. Thank you, Holly. Holly, cool. you're the best.